Welcome to the quantitative analysis split lesson number three. This one's all about once we've done a titration, working out the concentration of the unknown solution. Okay, now for titration calculations, we're using this for, for a titration which is all about having a solution with a known concentration reacting with a solution of an unknown concentration and you're using the quantities used to work out the unknown concentration. If you follow this grid where you have Q across the top standing for that known and unknown solution and down the side we have chocolate's very nice and that's standing for concentration volume and number of moles. So when you draw this grid up, when you're using it in your calculations, make sure that you include these units beside the CVN. Chocolate's very nice. Okay, <clears throat> so for example, we have this equation here. That's actually an arrow, not a box. Um, we've got 25 mole samples of a 0.333 mole per litre sulfuric acid. Okay, so because they've said 0.33 mole per litre, this is a concentration that we know. So this is our known solution. So up here on the grid we're going to put H2SO4. That's our known substance, so all the numbers down in this column is going to refer to the sulfuric acid. So the concentration is the 0.333 and the volume of it, of the sulfuric acid, was 25 mils, which we're going to turn into litres and make it 0.025. And it says that it requires an average of 21.8 mils of Carbon, uh, sorry, potassium hydroxide to neutralize it. So, what is the concentration of the KOH? So, that means that we don't know this concentration, so that must be our unknown. So, we'll label this column with the unknown. This is what we're trying to find out. And all we know about it so far is that it reacts. When it reacted with the sulfuric acid, it took 21.8 mils of it to do the reacting. So that's our volume of our unknown. So we put that in here as litres, 0.0218. Okay, this is one of the most common errors in a titration calculation, is forgetting to turn the mils into litres. So you make sure you remember that. Divide those mils by a thousand. Okay, now remember our formula for concentration. Cats equals, that's right, knocked over vases. So when I'm trying to work out the number of moles of my sulfuric acid used in this reaction, remember N can be calculated if we hold our thumb over the end it can be calculated by going C times V okay so N equals C times V so I've got a C here at the top and if I times the V by it that's going to give me the number of moles so we just go this column times this column gives us our number of moles which is 0 0.00833 three significant figures or you could say that that was 8 times 10 to the power of 8.33 times 10 to the power of minus 3 Okay, that's called standard form. And your calculator will probably give you your numbers in standard form. And instead of writing a 10, it would put an E there. Or 
something like that. Okay, so we know the number of moles of the sulfuric acid. And if we look at this equation here, equations, when we balance them, tell us the ratio of the moles. So in this reaction, we've got sulfuric acid, and because there's no number in front of it, we know that that means one mole of that is reacting with two moles of the potassium hydroxide. It's creating one mole of potassium sulfate and one, two moles of water. Okay, so for the next step, to work out how many moles of KOH, we just simply use the mole ratio from the equation. So we're going to look at the equation and see that one mole of sulfuric acid reacts with two moles of potassium hydroxide. Therefore, if I've used 0 0.00833 moles, I'm going to need to use twice as many moles of KOH. So I throw that number into my calculator and I multiply it by 2, and I get 1.67 times 10 to the power of minus 2 moles. That's minus 2. <laughs> okay. <coughs> So now that I know the N and the V, I can look at this again and think, okay, what am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find a C. So C equals N divided by V over here. So I've got my N down the bottom and my V, and I'm trying to find a C. So if I get the go upwards now and go the number of moles divided by the volume I'm going to get my answer okay so when we use this grid firstly for the sulfuric acid we're going downwards and timesing and when we use it for the unknown we're going upwards and we're dividing so we put that into our calculator, 1.67 times 10 to the minus 2, and we divide it by 0 0.0218, and we get our concentration of 0 0.764. And that'll be in moles per litre, as it says in the diagram. Okay, so that's an example of how to use this grid. Lastly, you could be told that the original solution was diluted before the titration and so therefore you could have to work out the concentration of the original by multiplying your result by your dilution factor. So if the original sulfuric acid in the previous example had been diluted 1 in 10, so that means one lot of sulfuric acid had 10 parts of water thrown into it, then your final concentration you would just multiply by 10. Okay, so here's another titration example. Okay, that's an uh, equation provided. You'll see from the equation this time that it's a 1 to 1 ratio. So let's just quickly put that whole story into the chocolate's very nice grid. Okay, you would put the units in and you want to figure out what's the known and the unknown. Remember at the top it goes KU. So reading the story it says 25 mole samples of this concentration of nitric acid which tells us that's the known. So we put HNO3 and we put 0.442 as its concentration and its volume is 25 moles, so 0 0.025 goes here, and it required an average of 31.82 moles of the KOH, so our unknown is KOH again, and its volume was 0 0.0318, we won't worry about the two because we'll just worry about three significant figures, 
which we could put here as well. Okay, so to work out the um, concentration here, we're just going to go this times this one times this one is going to equal this one. We look at the equation and see that it's a one to one ratio, so whatever this value is, I'm not going to work it out, you can. X is going to equal X over here, same number. Divide it by this volume. So this one divided by this one is going to equal that one. Okay, so you'll get your concentration. Then it says if the nitric acid was dilute, diluted, 1 in 20, what was the original concentration? That means that whatever that answer is, we're going to just times it by 20 to account for this dilution factor. And that's all you need to do.